Welcome back to the channel, everyone. Today we are looking at some new green light product, green light HD or is it SD series 13? I think it's the SD super duty trucks. Um, currently I'm residing in front of the Lego table. As you can see, I'm building a UCS Jawa sand crawler and it literally took me hours to sort the parts because I was Actually, I had to go through all these little cabinets behind me to get all those parts out. Um, so I have been working on a bit of Lego lately to stave off the boredom of society that we're in. But anyways, let's head on over to the die-cast museum portion. Uh, I've been also sorting some of my Lego. As you can see, I've put a lot of it uh, into nooks and crannies of the basement here. So it's uh, not so hoarderish, I guess. Kind of like a hoard in here, but it's a good hoard. It's like a collection hoard. So that's what I keep telling myself anyways. Yeah, so we are looking at SD Trucks 13. Uh, some pretty cool rigs here, including probably my favorite, the 1980 Chevrolet C70. This is the grain truck. Been eagerly awaiting that one for a while since I saw that one uh, come out to an exclusive line of Greenlight products. I guess it was probably so over six months ago anyways, but the popular truck, at least here in Canada, uh, is the 2019 Mack Granite dump truck with snowplow. Go figure, it's winter. Who doesn't want a 164 scale snowplow as a toy for Christmas? And very cool, the 2020 Mack LR rear loader refuse truck. Notice opening rear door. So that's actually a different truck entirely. That's a new casting from the refuse truck you might be familiar with already, the uh, just the LR refuse truck. And uh, so you can see that one's more of like a recycling truck. It's got the round back on it versus this one having more of a traditional kind of pick up the bag and hock it in the back of the truck sort of situation going on there. So I'm going to spin this camera around and we're going to look at all of these. Out here on the diorama, which is freshly cleared off as I am sorting my old Hot Wheels here on the table. And of course, peeking down there, you can see I've still got lots of things to share with you guys. Show, I was going to say show, but kind of came out as two words in one. Schwer with you guys. And uh, let's get right to it. What in tarnations is going on with my hair? This thing coming out of the top of my head. Uh... No, it's not mini me. All right, so let's get to it. Uh, I'm sitting at the table, but I need to actually head over to the diorama because that's where all those silly trucks are. Yes, this is a top quality O-Dog production film of the SD trucks. And I do have two each of my favorites, which are the garbage trucks, AKA refuse trucks. I did have an opportunity to buy two of these, but I left one behind for some other lucky child or collector. Uh, but there was lots of these other ones here available. And uh, I'm certainly going to be doing a custom on one of these as I feel like the back of this truck is unfinished in that um, white. It really should be all messed up or something. It's an old grain truck for heaven's sake. It should be rusty and dirty. Uh, there's definitely no signs that any grain has been in that truck. So. Without further ado, let's get these out of the packaging for the full review. And as we can see, there's really nothing going on in the back of the packaging for the SD Series trucks. And we're also going to open up this Series 10 truck as a bonus round. Because for some reason I missed this one uh, in the past. And what other trucks were available with this one? 2018 International Workstar Tanker Truck Union 76. I remember that one coming out. Didn't need it. And the Mac Anthem Truck Cab. I think I actually did just pick that up. I think it was that blue truck that I reviewed in comparison to the Maestu truck. So maybe I'm wrong. But anyways, let's get all these out for a roll on the patrol. All right, which one do you guys want to see first? Probably this one. Let's let's open this one up first. Uh, yeah, there's a zoomage. Zoomage. Cool looking truck. I think we're probably going to be able to smash through a few cars with this thing. And notice this one also has some sort of functionality to it. Careful pulling it out of the packaging as there are lots of fragile little plastic bits and bobs. Functional dump bed is what the green light notice says. So let's go in for a super zoom. 
on this truck. Wow, that's not working out. Let's step her back a second. Uh, functional. Oh, look at that. It's got a big piston. That works out pretty good. Very neat. So you can take all that sand. Wow, look at all the detail in there. Take all that salt or sand or whatever crud you're spreading out on the roads here. Very, very nice truck. Lots of detail. And wow, you're ever getting a, a deal with all the rubber tires here. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, 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 like 12 tires. And uh, just a really nice looking truck, I would say. Let's put it next to a 164 scale vehicle. Oh my God. All right. Demonstration for that truck is still yet to follow, but you can see quite nice scalage. And uh, here we have the 80 Chevrolet C70 G -G -G grain truck. All right, let me get that out of the package. Oh, notice also has a functional functional dump bed. So it's really nice. The green light's got some functional parts on these trucks. This one has a scissor lift sort of apparatus. No piston, so... I don't know how that would work. Need a piston in there. For this textured green bed, which is going to look really good when it's all mudded up. And uh, for me, the cab stellar cab i mean i grew up as a young lad when these trucks were common on the road still it is kind of dating myself but 1980 they were still around pretty common good old work truck why is the focus so terrible with this camera my goodness next truck out is the uh and this one has a rear opening door so let's see how that works out maybe you can get the garbage back out of the truck somehow Again, another great detailed truck. Really good quality on these uh, SD series trucks. Metal chassis assembled with screws. Really nicely detailed wheels. Ah, you can. You can fill it full of garbage. But unfortunately, there's no functionality to this part that I can see. Would have been nice if it had like a, a flap so you could actually put stuff in there. But as it is... You can. You just got to lift the whole back of the truck. Okay, put some garbage in the truck. There we go. Okay, so that's not really going to work. Let's compare it to the Series 10 Refuse LR truck. What does LR stand for anyways? I have no idea. This is the one that we've seen commonly over the last few, uh, well, I guess the last 10 series of sd trucks it's the same truck cab the mac uh same details basically same wheels different non-functional oh this thing's got the arms that's right with the uh dumpster that should have been included but isn't would have been nice had they included a dumpster but as it is it doesn't really go anywhere anyways this thing should slide open it's a dumpster picker upper type truck Versus the old uh, walk behind, throw the garbage in the back type truck. Which is what we got here. So it's really nice. This is what you're more commonly going to see in a residential setting anyways. This is more of a commercial truck. So very, very, very cool assortment of trucks from the SD Trucks. Series 13 from Greenlight. What do you guys think of these trucks? Any comments? Anything at all? Put it in the uh, comments down below. And, uh, yeah, well, we'll see you in the next video. Happy hunting.